For the first time in over a month, on Sunday, the Ever Forward lived up to its name. Back on March 13th, the ship, nearly as long as the Empire State Building, carrying almost 5,000 cargo containers, ran into a big problem after it left the port of Baltimore and failed to make a proper turn. If you've ever been in a marsh and you've stepped in the marsh with your boot and then you try to pull it out and your foot comes out but not the boot, kind of the same thing on a grander scale. The ship found itself stuck in feet of mud. What followed involved weeks of tugboats, barges, and Coast Guard crews working together to try and move the boat while lightening its load and dredging almost a quarter million cubic yards of material. Trying to move something that's that big obviously is a monumental task. On Sunday, the hard work finally paid off. While Governor Larry Hogan tweeted congratulations to the crews, some concerns remained about the possible impact to the water. And they've already caused it a large amount of environmental disruption and damage just by the dredging that's gone on. Earlier this week, Maryland Comptroller Peter Franchot spoke to WSA9 and voiced frustrations with the Evergreen Marine Corporation, which owns both the Ever Forward and the Ever Given, which got stuck in the Suez Canal last year and disrupted billions of dollars in global trade. Franchot believes the company should provide millions of dollars to help treat any possible impacts in the aftermath of the most recent incident. Kind of almost... Uh, incomprehensible that this is the second time it's happened. I think they need to put up a large fund right now to protect the state of Maryland. With the Ever Forward now moving again, the crew will head back to Baltimore to pick up unloaded cargo before picking up where it left off over a month ago. Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9.